Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at how to evaluate limits with indeterminate forms. Now, right now, in the beginning of a Calculus 1 course, there's two standard and important indeterminate forms. The first is the type 0 over 0. That one is the most basic. And then the other one is infinity over infinity. Now, normally, a number divided by itself cancels to 1. The exception is 0 divided by 0. That can be anything. There is no determined value, hence why we call it an indeterminate form. Now, fortunately, there's four standard simple algebraic tricks we use to eliminate the indeterminate form for the type 0 over 0. For those limits with indeterminate forms of type 0 over 0, you can factor, expand, or multiply. If you have square roots, you can multiply and divide by the conjugate of the radical. And then if you have fractions or fractions within fractions anywhere in your limit, try combining the fractions using a common denominator. And for the most part, these four tricks will get you through most limits with indeterminate forms early on in your Calc 1 course. All right, let's go ahead to our first question here. We're letting x approach 3 for this function, x minus 3 over x squared plus 5x minus 24. Now, we want to check first what happens if we just plug in x equal to 3 to this. All right, and you can see in the numerator, 3 minus 3, that's going to give you 0. But what's more important here is that we also see if we get 0 in the denominator. Remember, 0 divided by a number, like 5, is 0, but division by 0 is undefined. But what we're looking for is 0 over 0 for an indeterminate form. So if you plug 3 in, it looks like we're going to get 9 plus 15. That's positive 24 minus 24. We get 0. All right, now this tells us that we have an indeterminate form, and we're going to try to do an algebraic trick here to eliminate the indeterminate form. And here, the one that hopefully is obvious, the only thing that you can really do with that expression is maybe try to factor it. So let's factor the denominator, x squared plus 5x minus 24. And as it turns out, factoring, it's one of the biggest skills that either allows a Calc 1 student to do well, or if that student is a little bit weak in factoring, it's going to hold them back. So make sure you're on top of factoring. All right, here, since we have a 1 in front of x squared, we just look for two integers or numbers that multiply to negative 24, but add to positive 5. And it looks like those numbers should be 8 and negative 3. So it looks like our factorization comes out to x plus 8 times x minus 3. Now, the factorization here shouldn't really be a surprise. Notice we have x minus 3 in the numerator. That's what gives you 0 for this indeterminate form. And we're going to try to have that cancel out. So maybe it's obvious that you would want an x minus 3 factor in your denominator, which we have. So if we go ahead and put this in, we're still evaluating the limit as x approaches 3. We factored our denominator as x plus 8 times x minus 3. In the numerator, we're leaving that as is. And this is where we need to point something out. Remember, with a limit, here, x is approaching 3. We are only letting x approach 3. x never equals 3. So through this whole process of evaluating a limit as x approaches 3, x does not equal 3, which means x minus 3 is not 0. So we can cancel those out. And we're left with a very simple limit to evaluate now. The indeterminate form has canceled, and we're left with 1 divided by x plus 8. And at this point, with the indeterminate form eliminated or canceled, we can just evaluate this by plugging in x equals 3, and it looks like what we get is 1 over 11. 
And that is our limit here for this very simple example where the real work for the question was just basic factoring. Now, some of the other problems involve a little bit more work, especially with some complicated or obscure factoring formulas. Hopefully you know the sum and difference of cubes formulas. We're gonna see those occur in some other problems. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're learning a lot. If you are, support the channel, like and subscribe.